like that. And we're going to go straight into chapter 23, Seeking the Fingers of Steel. Okay, so what is this? All right, so we've got Shinogi. We're still in the midst of the fight. I like the fact that we're still in the midst of the fight. That is sick. That is sick. Let's go. All right. That isn't enough, Shinobi-san. That was pathetic, even. You're nothing if you think. You're nothing if you think that was enough. So he's like, <laughs> like come on, man. If you want to take my throne, you're literally going to do more than that. So he's like, hmm, well, uh, relax. He's just a little tougher than they normally are. So he can't use his right arm now, okay? So his right arm's useless to him. All right, so he's only got his left arm. Okay. I still have the the, fin, the finner advantage, all right, because he can use everything still. All right, all right, which is very true. He's, he still has both arms, both legs. Baki only has two legs and an arm left. All right. So he's going in. Ooh, he's going for the kick. Baki's parried his kick away. Okay. Baki's going in for a kick himself. He's blocked that. Dude, this would look so sick if this is all animated. I want to see this all animated. I reckon that would be absolutely phenomenal. Bang, right. and he swept him. Set him by. Baki foot swept him. Fast. Dude, and uh, Shinogi's managed to. He didn't go down. So Shinogi's managed to land on his feet somehow. Baki's smiling. It's like, huh? So he's going for a chop, but he's parried that one, dodged over his other next punch. Oh man, this is so sick. What's going on? Dude, he's going for an armbar! So he's going bang, and he's ripping him up, he's flipping him down. He's going for the armbar. It's like, Dush. Ooh, alright. So it looks like Shinogi's managed to get out of it. That's sick. I like the fact that he got out of it. It's like, how about Baki? I respect your prowess above all else, boy. So there's a bit of respect, and they both smile. Looks like they're having the time of their life of absolutely getting their bodies destroyed. I love it. This is so sick. They're both laughing? With just one arm. You did well to avoid me. And they're like both smiling and laughing. Looks like they're having the time of their lives. I've waited so long for this day. Finally, someone worthy of facing me. Okay. When when I was young, I wanted to be strong so badly. Gosho, yes. What part of the body allows you to do the most damage? Okay, so it looks like this is when he was uh, Shinogi was training. Okay. The fist, sir. In karate, yes. The smaller the striking point, the more powerful it is. More than the fist. More than the flat. The flat fist is Ippon Ken. But more than Ippon Ken is the knife hand. Okay, so he's saying that's the Ippon Ken, right? He's going for the knife hand, which is kind of like, basically like a chop. Alright. So you can see him going like that. You can see the, the he's got the whole aura thing going. He's going like, zoom. He's going like, a striker like that. He's like, Tsh! and it was like he's even ripped out Philly from the punching bag. All right, all right. This is kind of crazy, kind of crazy. I'm liking this. This is kind of sick. All right, let's keep going. This can't be done with just a fist. So he's holding things just like a properly developed knife hand is as sharp as a blade. I did what my master said. I developed my fingertips. So basically, he's training his fingertips to make him strong and everything like that. I like that. So many push-ups and chin-ups with just my fingers. All right, so you can see he's got like two fingers on and he's slipping off. Master never disciplined my disciplined me during our private training session. He didn't have to. I had the will, burden to be the best. So you can see him just training, doing it, you know, doing the strikes and all that kind of stuff. Basically, building up the strength in the fingertips so they don't basically get destroyed when he actually uses it. 
Alright, so he's got him growing up to where he is now. Let's see him going, hmm. So he's using the strikes. And he's showing that he's now mastered that technique, which is kind of cool. Okay. Later that night, he visited me, wearing formal clothes. I didn't know why. He gave me a small present. The fingers he used to strike me. See, the master literally cut off his own fingers and gave it to him. Alright, that's kind of nuts. I've done all I can for you. Master retired. Succeeded him. I succeeded him. Alright, so looks like Shinogi has succeeded his master, which is, that's kind of cool. Like, you know, getting like a little bit of insight into Shinogi, how he got to where he was, and all that. I kind of like that. Never stop fighting. And that's coming from his master. Now, looks like we're going back to the fight. Which is what we want. We want the fight. I trained for another three years and I perfected the ultimate cord cutting technique. You will now know real pain. Barky's in trouble. Show she know he is snapped. I'm double thinking. <laughs> Barky's in shit. I like this. This is getting good. Alright. That is the end of chapter 23. Seeking the fingers of steel. I kind of like how that kind of played out. So we got a little bit of the fight, but we also got to find out how Shinogi came to be, how he is, and his technique, how he developed his technique, and all that kind of jazz. So I really kind of like that. So we're going to move straight into chapter 24, The Boy's Tears. So we're going to go 